Alright people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So this is actually episode 600. Wow, so many episodes of Daily Duels. Hello? So many episodes. I'm using the wrong version of the deck. It's fine though. Uh, I wanted to try a more competitive version of the deck. So I changed, I made like a competitive-esque version that I wanted to play, but then I forgot to select it. Because actually, instead of saving over this one, I actually just renamed it. So, oops. So, yeah, this isn't the guy. As soon as I saw Alpha, I'm like, ooh. I mean, I personally, I, I love Alpha. I think Alpha is so good. I think, I think if you, some, some of them equip cards, you know. I think Alpha is up there with, uh, with, uh, with Sacrifice, you know. I just equip it to a Telite monster, gains 500, and it's unaffected by my opponent's shit. Like, that's fucking good as fuck if you tell, you know, if you ask me. That's, that's awesome. But, you know, none of the competitive Telonites play it, you know, so. Hey. I am not going to tell them what to do, but I really like Alpha, personally. Personally, I really like it as a card. So, my bad. I wanted to use the competitive deck, and then I was going to do, like, a deck profile at the end, but my bad. I messed up. So, you know what? Instead, we are pretty much going to, uh, just, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to say. We're just going to do this one duel. This one duel with, uh, with uh, Telonites, the fun version, and then when we come back, we'll go ahead and get our competitiveness on. That's fine. I'll allow you to go plus one because I would like a Delteros. Delteros seems like he's totally fine right now. So I'll allow you to get one more card. Especially when I'm about to go ahead and uh, equip. Yeah, get that bitch out of here. Hmm. Trying to think. It feels like a. Looks like some kind of synchro deck. Spore and stuff. So if he has like. Uh, like. Gores or something, then the token will be strong. I can always attack it's extra 500. You don't be extra cautious. I'm just gonna attack. And then if he has a Gores and he does something with the token, it'll be 25. Then I can just equip and I'll be stronger than him and his token. You know, probably a little bit too cautious, but. Alright. I'll go ahead and equip Alpha. It's like I said, it's personally a card that I really like. Like I said, turn, turning into a 3,000 beater who's unaffected by my opponent's card effect. Like, I'm turning fucking Delteros into a fucking, uh, uh, fucking killer. Like, that's pretty cool. I really do think that's pretty cool. I'll let him draw two cards off of that. Hoping that doesn't, you know, backfire me. He, he is, he is in this duel still because he's got them good resources, but I'm hoping that. You know, that won't matter too much. Because uh, 3,000 beaters is not effective, that shit. You know, he pretty much has to have the MST. You can't go after my monster now. But yeah, I'm going to next duel, use a competitive version of the deck, and then uh, at the end, I'll go ahead and do, like, like a deck profile and pretty much, you know, talk about the things that I like, what I don't like, and, you know... If I do decide to go ahead and make my Tower Knight deck more competitive to try to take down to like a, a locals, if I ever go, let's say, uh, you know, what you guys can go ahead and help me out with that, you know. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm still waiting for the new ban list before I, you know, commit to anything, but I'm still going to go ahead and pick up the cards. I'm going to wait until, you know, ban list, because if Vanities gets hit, then there's no reason to pick up three if Vanities is going to get hit, right? Anyway, I go ahead and just pop your monster again. And I'll punch you in the face for 3,000 again. Nope, that's not gonna work. I'm unaffected by your fan failure, so uh, thanks for negging. Hmm, okay. Spore, dandy. Alright, I'll see you. You know what? I wanna search. And I got Nova too. Is that a Nova something else? Yeah. Straight up unaffected fool. See? See? Look how awesome Alpha is. Whatever. Whatever. I want to search with the Neb. I'm going to go ahead and search for Vega. Also in the competitive version, and I need to put in this version, I put in uh, 
all sham because uh, all sham is good. All sham is good. I I was incorrect. You know, compared to the decks I haven't been running as of late, but you know, I was one of the first proponents to say, you know, run cowboys a staple. He can win you games. He can end games. But then I'm not running sham, who can easily burn my opponent for like the remaining. You know, especially if I'm playing like Call of the Haunted and, and you know Oasis and shit. So that was totally my bad. No, I actually lost. I was like, I was, like, I was actually doing something like I almost won. It was on the live stream, and he just summoned that channel. I was like, oh, that's it. I'm burned. Yeah, especially since you can go like you know, you know. Especially, all you have to do is just once you get that one Deneb, you don't need to drop any more Deneb. So if you get the Nuclear High and he ain't doing anything, because you can see I summoned a Nuclear High sometimes, like I did. I well, did I? Or is that a different door? You know, I could summon a Nuclear High. No, I did. I did. He's just right here. I could summon a Nuclear High, and then. Like, effect. Like, who am I going to send? Like, hmm, yeah, you know what? I'll think I'll go ahead and send another Deneb. Like, no, I'd rather, after my first Deneb gets in the game, I'd rather draw the Deneb because I'm running the Vega, so Vega can't combo with the Deneb, so I'd rather draw the Deneb. So, at that point, there's really not much that, uh, that, uh, Anouk will be sending at all. So, we might as well just throw in a Sham, which is another target for Nuke to send. When Sham is in the graveyard, I can just grab him back whenever I want. Or from my ally of searchers with Deneb, I can just go, alright, Altair, Sham, burn you for a thousand, XE, Cowboy, 1800, bam, right there, so. <sighs> anyway, uh, you'll go ahead and see the competitive deck. Like I said, this isn't in there, this isn't in there, I know that, you know. Uh, I just feel like I'm worried, kind of worried about the consistency of the deck. Um, I'm definitely going to have to push for more level all will change if I'm not ready, you know. Uh, I'm, my deck runs triple Vega, you know, I'm not changing that. I, I personally think that Vega is really good. And I see a ton of decks that run only two. I think three is better, especially since uh, your idea has a... Uh, what does it say? If it leaves the field, destroy this card. Well, I mean, you really can't even do much right now, but I'd rather keep my materials. I'm okay right now. It really doesn't matter. I'll just kill your token, kill... Give me kill your monster, kill the tokens, like... I got Nova right here. I don't care. That's not really worth my alpha. You're really just stalling. You know, especially when you lower the deck's consistency, less than what it is currently in my fun version, you know, uh, pot goes down from three to two, uh, no more sky bridge for consistency means, you know, so when you lower my consistency and, you know, the chances of me getting my Deneb to my hand or Deneb plays even less, that means I gotta rely on the level of chain, I gotta rely, rely on the level of chain a lot more, so Vega helps me with that, you know, shit, if I gotta go fucking Vega Altair, you know, XC into the wall of chain, detach the nub, and set some oasis and some call of the haunted, and so be it. As long as I get my play started, because if the guys don't get their play started, then they, they don't they don't do much. So, yeah. Because at this point, you might as well scoop it up so I can go ahead and get the competitive duel in. I apologize, though. I apologize. I mean, see? I mean, but look, I like Alpha, but you have to run triple MST right now. Yeah. You know, if MST you know, really wasn't relevant, you know, triple handies and triple skill drain and all that good shit, I'd probably main deck that alpha and, you know. Okay, this is really getting in the way that you just keep on activating that fucking card. I might just snow you. Oh, that's fine. Are you just gonna summon a dandelion again? I can always know the dandelion though, but just getting annoying. Oh, God. <sighs> so all you're doing is stalling at this point. Oh, that's cute. Mmm. Nah, that's fine. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> that's cute. Oh, Dandelion just says period, so you went to testing C material. Interesting. Ch -ch 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 
He still gets that too, because they see yeah, so that's, that's that was an interesting play. Ah, don't know you. Yeah. Oh, I click no. Yeah, that's fine. <sighs> oh, that's someone didn't open my back. I miss my alpha. What's up? Uh huh. Like, do you want something? <laughs> dandy tokens, dandy tokens, dandy tokens. What? I have to give you all my money? You're robbing me? Right, as I'm doing a video right now? <laughs> Okay. Okay, but you can't attack. I didn't. I don't get the point of that. What you just did. I know they don't even play Soul Charge anymore. Soul Charge seems kind of slow in comparison to like Call of the Haunted and Oasis and stuff. I can remove the token. I really want to get rid of that though. That's the thing. I want to get rid of that miracle miracle fertilizer. I'm gonna get rid of the miracle fertilizer. Alright. And you know what? I have another denab, don't I? No, I needed to attach the denab. I only have one denab. Oh, I have both the denabs are on here. That's right. I'm like, why do I have one denab? Nah, that's fine. I don't even care. Still gone. The queen doesn't negate. Alright. Peace out. Fuck your family. <laughs> See? And that's the only reason why Skybridge is so good, because I can just get out of the way. <laughs> You see this man? He thought he had me. He thought he had me. Nigga, no. No. My version of Teller Knights may not be competitive, but it's still Teller Knights. I might not even have time for the competitive. I might have to do that next week. Let's go on to Deltaros again. Deltaros, go ahead and do me a flavor and go ahead and get rid of that Armadies. I'm just sitting here fucking just fucking you up. I mean, I, I have a fucking Nova. I have the fucking right here, and I'm not even playing it because I don't even need to. <laughs> All right, sir. Regake. Regake. Are you telling me that you, the number generator keeps on giving you cards that won this entire duel? It really has. It really has. This entire duel, he's been getting cards at one. Yep. See, I, every time I summon a nuclear high. Every time. You know what? I don't have enough time to do another duel and do a deck broken. So, you know what? We'll just do one more duel with just the fun deck. And, yeah. We'll do the competitive deck next week. Alright guys, be right back. Alright, so... One more fun duel. Sorry, only fun today. <laughs> I messed up and... You guys get... The non-competitiveness of my deck. Of my fun deck. Oh, you let me go first. Interesting. Alright, well... 
I'll summon Unuk. Anuk, go ahead and send me. Uh, I put Shaman there. I put Shaman there. Uh, send me Deneb though, because I have Skybridge, so I can literally just turn my Unuk into an Altair, and Altair can summon the Deneb and I can search. So. And I'm totally fine with that plan. If you try to pretty much do anything. Oh, Galaxy Cyclone. Alright. So yeah, we'll go ahead and just change you into you. And you will get your effect. I mean you and plus me. You're in your main phase except the turn of this is sun. Okay. And target one face us, which I've currently failed to destroy. Okay. Mm hmm. Interesting. I may be up on resources right now, but I feel so naked. I just think that's one of my major flaws with my uh, my fun deck is, you know, despite despite the monster count not being too high, I think it's like 13, I get so many monsters that eventually my hand is filled with monsters and not filled with, you know, any, like, uh, uh, you know, that good chocolatey, uh, back row stuff. The good stuff. Alright, I shuffled him back in. Yeah, I really don't want to go in, I really don't need to go into, like, you know, Delta Rose as of right now. So I'll just get my Poké John. I don't need to go into Trave, I don't need to go into Delta Rose, so I'm okay right now. I might go into Trev once I finish training one of his monsters, but so far, not much has happened right now. And it says, during your main phase, you do time. It's supposed to be two. Oh, they're monarchs. Alright. Okay. Okay. I don't get what you're doing here. Oh, let's say, you know that Altair gets its effect when I'm flip summoned as well, right? Yeah, we'll go ahead and summon Sham. Run you 4,000. All right, I'll go attack, attack, XC into I don't even give a shit. XC into I don't even give a shit. No, no. Well, we'll train. No. I don't know who I want. Do you guys do anything when you're in the graveyard? No. I don't know who I want to go into. I guess I could shoot you with a cowboy. I mean, it really doesn't matter. I just need to XC and detach. That's, that's pretty much what I want to do right now. That is the plan. Uh, and I am the man with the plan. I just don't know what I want my clan to be. <laughs> yeah, we'll go in the cowboy. Fuck it. It's not. It's not about. It's not about the monster. It's not about the XC monster. I just need any XC monster that can exceed detach for my play. See, now you get my play. You thought I was crazy for a second. That was my play. Because it says summoned. So that includes flip summon. So thanks for uh, allowing me to plusage. And I'm done. 
See, I got all these monsters, but no back row. So maybe, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe you do run more back row. I, okay. I just don't know what back row is, like, relevant, you know? Like, uh, you know, besides, you know, the best trap card in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! It's called Vanity's Emptiness. I'm not sure if you've heard of it, but, you know, it, is Bottomless good? Is Warning good? Is Torrental good? Is Capulse good? Apparently Mirror Force is good. Is Deepersome good? What is good? I, I, I don't know what chalk cards are good. So, you know, I'm like looking at various uh, deck profiles of decks and I'm just seeing like the same things, the same things, you know. Mind Crush is apparently, you know, if you're not, if you're not running triple Mind Crush, then you're not doing things right. But I'm not sure if I'd want to do that, you know. And I, I, like I said, I pretty much have to wait till the, the ban list to actually, you know, make the deck competitive. But for right now, the fun deck is fun, you know. I'm slowly getting the cards in the mail. I got the pile of cards right here. I got, I got, well, I got through the mail. I got the Delta Roses. I got the pots. Uh, I got the Soul Charge, but I'm probably going to take that out. Uh, I got the Diamond. I got the Warrior Returning Alive, because, you know, for my friend back on running. I got the Sky Bridges, the Call of the Haunted, the Trivs, the Unukula Highs, the Alphas, and the uh, Oasises. So, like I said, if I do decide to change this deck to the competitive version, of course, some of these cards will be taken out, but uh, overall, uh, I'm just trying to decide what I'm going to do. But uh, we got a while, we got a while. So next Tuesday, we'll go ahead and play with a more competitive version of that, and then I'll do a tech profile, and then you guys can help me out with a competitive version. So I apologize for messing up and uh, just having you know another just for fun day. So um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels despite that. Uh, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Klebola. All right, people, thanks for watching. Thank you.